Guys, Pastor Aaron here. I hope you're having an absolutely blessed day. Hey, grab your Bible, grab your journal, grab something to write with, and let's hop into this study. Hey, it's a beautiful Albuquerque day. I just had my sweater on, right? Because you know what? It was just pouring rain and cold like 30 seconds ago. Four seasons in the same day. That's what I love about Albuquerque. All right, guys, we're going to hop into this Roman study. But before we get going, let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your word. And Lord, uh, we pray that you open our eyes and our hearts to your message for us today. And we just pray that in Jesus' mighty name. They all said, amen. All right, service, the fruit of righteousness, our relationship to the state, our relationship to the governing authorities. What does that look like? Every person is to be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those who exist are established by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority has opposed the ordinances of God, and they who have opposed will receive the condemnation upon themselves. For rulers are not a cause of fear for good behavior, but for evil. Do you want to have no fear or authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For it is a minister of God to you for good. But if you do what is evil, be afraid. For it does not bear the sword for nothing. For it is a minister of God and an avenger who brings wrath on the one who practices evil. And so what Paul's telling us here is all authority is really in God's hands. God is the one who is in control. Do we need to follow our government and our authorities when they break God's laws and man's laws? Absolutely not. Right? But we're supposed to honor them, we're supposed to pray for them, and we're supposed to try and line up with them if at all possible, right? There is nobody who is an authority over Christ. Christ is our ultimate authority. But we're to honor and to pray for those that God has established in leadership. Word study. All right, guys, subjection, the practice of bringing something under the control of something else. And so we look at our world, we look at our schools, we look at our churches and their systems. God's put systems in with leadership and authority and people all around us that we're in subjection to, right? And a lot of times because we live in America, we can freely do this, right? We offer that. We say, yeah, I'll be under your leadership. I'll be under that authority. I like that pastor. I'll follow him. But sometimes it's not as easy. And so we need to learn to pray for those in charge and continue praying. Paul's biggest advice to us here is that for those who are in charge, we need to continue to pray for them. Therefore, it is necessary to be in subjection, not only because of wrath, but also of, for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes for rulers and servants of God, devouting themselves to this very thing. Render all what is due them. Taxes to whom taxes do, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom God honor. See, I threw that in, God. Honor to whom honor, right? Right? We want to honor God, okay? We want to remember who we really belong to, who we offer ourselves to, right? When taxes are due, pay your taxes. Be a good citizen. When customs are due, right? Show honor and respect to those around us. And ultimately, we need to honor those who God has put in charge. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it short today. Nothing sometimes is harder than honoring those that God has put in charge of us, whether it's our parents, whether it's our teachers, whether it's our government. Um, but we're all in subjection to authority. And uh, ultimately, we need to be in subjection to his authority. So if you haven't made him the king author of your life, you need to start right now. Our sins, they separate us from God. Jesus Christ died on the cross to repair that. If you haven't asked him into your life yet, you need to, right? We all need to be in subjection to authority. He is the ultimate authority. So if you haven't asked him into your life yet, right? No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. Jesus is the truth. He is the life. All right, guys. If you want Jesus to be the core of your life, just pray this prayer with me. Father God, we thank you so much for who you are, for what you did on the cross. Lord, we thank you for all those who are in charge around us and authority. We thank you so much, God, that you are the ultimate authority and that you had the authority to die on the cross for our sins. 
to pay the ultimate price for death so that we could have eternal life with you. And so, Father, we uh, want to give our lives to you. And so we thank you and we love you. All right, guys, if you prayed that prayer with me today, welcome to the family of Christ. Hey, if you've been walking with Christ for a time, part of our being an authority is us being a good example to the world, a good example of him. So until I see you guys next time, like, subscribe, share, and have an absolutely blessed day.